Hello and welcome back to the S Pro video channel. Today we're going to show you how an IP camera can be added to one of our analog recorders. There are a number of applications where you may need to do this. For example, there might be a security system that's slowly being converted from analog to IP, but the analog recorder isn't being swapped out until a later date. Or there may be an application where you have a remote location that requires wireless links and therefore IP cameras to get that signal back to what is an existing analog system. Or you might simply want to add additional cameras without being restricted to the number of BNC ports on the back of the recorder. Those are just a couple of examples, but whatever the application, being able to add an IP camera to an analog DVR if required means you have a lot more flexibility in terms of how to set up a CCTV system and customize it to the environment. So there's two ways this can work. One setup would be where the DVR is hardwired to a router, which in turn is connected to a PoE switch. The cameras are then connected to that same switch and they will draw the power they require from the switch itself. The second way to do this would be to have the DVR connected to a router and the cameras are also connected to that same router. In this example, a local power supply would be required. But however you do it, you need to make sure the DVR and the IP cameras are on the same network so that the DVR is able to find the camera's video stream and bring it back into the DVR. What you're going to be doing here essentially is reallocating the processing capabilities the recorder would use for AI functions to instead process IP video. You'll still be able to use any functionality that exists within the camera, things like audio functionality and starlight technology, but you won't be able to use any of the recorder's AI features when you use IP cameras with an analog recorder in this way. You will also need to be aware of the bandwidth available on the recorder, as that will be what determines how many IP cameras you can add, since you are no longer limited to the number of ports on the back. Let's now get down to how you add an IP camera to an analog recorder. As you can see, we've got four analog cameras physically connected to this four channel recorder. To add an IP camera onto this system, we'll right click to go to the main menu, click camera and channel type, and you can see this recorder's four analog channels. However, you've also got channels five to eight marked here, and what you can do is allow these channels to accept IP video, meaning you can add four IP cameras to channels five, six, seven, and eight. If you're in need of more than four IP channels, you can even convert one of the analog channels to IP. Just bear in mind that every channel after the first designated IP channel will always need to be set as IP as well. But we're just going to add an IP camera to one of these last four channels for this demonstration. And as always, remember to click apply. At this point, the recorder will need to be rebooted for these changes to take effect. Messages will appear informing you that this will reboot and that this will cause default settings to be restored. As mentioned earlier, you will be switching from the ability to have AI features to the ability to add IP cameras. So if you're okay with that, click OK and the recorder will reboot. When the recorder comes back to life, you will now have the number of IP channels you require. To add an IP camera, right click to go to the main menu, go to camera and then camera list, and we're going to add an IP camera that's on the network. You'll need to toggle on the filter to show uninitialized devices and then click search device, which will bring up all the devices it can find on the network. If you can't find the camera, make sure the recorder and camera don't have the same IP address. Once you have found the correct IP address of the camera you're looking to add, tick the checkbox and then click initialize. Use local password and email should be ticked. Click next and we can keep this as a static IP address for now and click next again. And okay again. Then tick the checkbox of the camera 
and click add. And it will assign it to the next available channel. You can see the status turn green here. If it doesn't, you most likely need to click modify and enter the admin and password details of the recorder and click connect. Once the status does show green, if we go all the way back to the live view, you'll see that an IP camera has now been added to this analog recorder. I hope you've now got a good understanding of how you can add IP cameras to an analog DVR. As you've seen, being able to do this allows you to continue working with an existing analog DVR whilst also introducing IP cameras. Thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from us here at S-Pro.